Hey guys, Peach here, and this is the info video for all three series. Um, the Pokemon Cup series will enter its 35th season, and the Pokemon Quest Truck series and the Pokemon Go National series will both be entering their fourth season. They're both they were both formerly known as the Pokemon Truck series and the Pokemon X series. I did mention on Facebook though I did rename both series because why not? But uh, this is the info video for all three of these series. This will apply to all three of them. We'll go through the drivers, the tracks, and the rules for the three series. But now let's start off with the Cup Series Season 35 roster. And here are all the drivers for the Cup Series in the 35th season. First off, we have the number one car from Chip Ganassi, Colin Francis, our defending champion from Season 34. And in the number two for Team Penske will be Billy Bishop as he returns to the Cup Series after taking a couple seasons off. So Bishop returns to the series in the number two. The number three will be driven by Sebastian Kukulon for Richard Children's Racing. Kukulon last season I believe was in the 42 as a Final Four driver. Now returns with a brand new team and we'll see if he can take the championship in the iconic three car. In the number four from Storn Haas is Zachary Fitzwater, the Australian born driver, returns in the same ride he had last season, so we're glad to have him back in the same team. In the number six for Roush Fenway Racing, it is James Richardson. Richardson last season was in the 17 for the same team, now, now switches numbers with that team, and now will drive the six. He's also a former two time cup champion, so. We'll see if we go for three in that car, in that six car. Then we have Ryan Butcher running in the number seven car. New York Racing Team will make its debut this season. They'll be running the seven with Steakhouse Elite to start off as sponsor. Ryan Butcher was in the eight car. I believe he was in the eight last season for RCR, but that car will not be run this season. So the seven New York Racing Team will have a shot at it um, in their first uh, Cup Series season. The number nine for Edric Motorsports, that'll be run by John Andrews, running the Sun Energy One paint scheme that Chase Elliott ran when he won at Watkins Glen. Um, yeah, so Andrews will start the season off in the Sun Energy One scheme, and it'll be in the number nine. The double zero will be driven by Christian Vargas uh, from Starcom Racing. Vargas, a couple seasons back, you may remember, he won four races in one season in this t car and with the same team. So obviously he's going to be back with the same team, hopes to win more races, maybe even t a championship. The number 10 for Storthaus Racing is Brianna Russell as she makes her return from last season in the same number and team she was in. So she and Zach Fitzwater stay at Storthaus from last season. Number 11 is Philip Goldberg running for Joe Gibbs Racing in the FedEx ground car. Goldberg was a uh, return to the series after being in the uh, X series a while back, but now he's back in the Cup series after getting a couple wins in the X and truck series. So he's back in Cup in the 11 for Joe Gibbs. He ran for Joe Gibbs in the past couple seasons before going to the X series and trucks. Number 12 is rookie Zachary DeLello running for the Penske team. So Anthony, by the way, won the Truck Series Championship, his brother, and he led the league with five wins that season in the Truck Series. He's going to the X Series instead, and his brother Zachary will ride in the Cup Series, and he'll have his first season running in the main top series, while Anthony will have his first season in the National Series. The number 13 will be run by Marcus Sachi of Germain Racing. Sachi last season ran in the 3, now runs in the 1-3 for a different team, but it's an RCR satellite team. Sachi though did win two races, I believe, and made the playoffs last season. So now he's moving over to his own car in the 13. Number 14, Storthaus Racing. Benjamin Miles makes his return of the series, the former champion. Makes his triumphant comeback to the series in the 14 Mobile One Ford. Number 15 is Nick Salmon, who actually uh, won the won the um, 
National Series title last season. Now is in the 15 for premium. Number 17 driven by Matthew M. Dev of Roush Fenway Racing. Longtime Penske driver moves over to Roush Fenway to drive the 17. He'll be sharing, he'll be teammates with James Richardson now because this was Richardson's old ride last season. Number 18 will be Ben Goldman for Joe Gibbs Racing as he was a X Series veteran back there. Back, um, he was an X Series veteran, I believe. So now he moves over to the Cup Series for Joe Gibbs. And I think this is rookie season. I'm not sure if he competed last season, but he is back somewhat in a car, but he's running the Cup Series. The number 19 Joe Gibbs Racing will be driven by Giovanni Castillo. He ran in this car last season as well, so he's back in the same ride. Number 20 for Joe Gibbs Racing is Priya McShane. She was running in the 13, I believe, last season. Now moves over to the big Joe Gibbs 20 team. Number 21 running the Wood Brothers car is Grayson Acevedo. He was with the Hedrick 48 last season and moves now to the 21 for Wood Brothers. Number 22 for the Penske Racing Team is Alexander Rowe. Took a took one season. Well, he well he was I believe in the 41 last season. Actually won a race last season in the Storthaus 41. And Rowe is now back though in the 22 for Penske. The 23 is Derek Hamill, which will share with BK Racing and um, GMS and I believe. Um, one other team, I BK Racing, GMS, and uh, Front Row, as Front Row actually brought out um, BK Racing. So this will be the last season that BK Racing will have any involvement in the Cup Series. They will split the ride with with uh, GMS in the 23. Uh, this is the GMS car. They will have other cars um, running later and later in the season, uh, other paint schemes, and other alliances so Derek Hamill will have more than one team to compete but it'll be in the same number 23. The 24 Hedrick Liberty car will be driven by Austin Stitzel um, returning to the Cup Series and now this time he's in a full-time ride after last season he was in the National Series. Number 31 for Richard Childress Racing is Cassandra Kirker so Cassandra is going to have another go in the Cup Series as her brother DJ is going to be running in the in the National Series instead. Sandra though actually has a win or two in the series, so she does have some experience in the Cup. Number 32 for Go Fast Racing is Roger Ray, and uh, Ray returns in the same ride he um, ran in when he won the regular season title two seasons back. He had three wins in that season. Last season was a slow season for him in that ride, as he I don't think had a single win. So now he's trying to make a comeback again. Number 34 for Front Row Motorsports is Carter Friesen. And last season, Friesen ran the 72 TriStar car. Now moves to Front Row in the 34. Evan Hunter returns in the 37 for JTG Daughtry. He won the regular season title last season with three wins to his, to, under his name. Even a Daytona 500 victory in his very first race. So obviously the future looks very bright for this young driver. Number 38 running 1000bulb.com front row motorsports is rookie Reagan Whitlock. So Reagan will make his debut this season. One of the rookies competing here in season 35. 41 for Storthaus Racing will be driven by Diego Yepes as he returns after la taking last season off entirely from the series. Is but now Yepes is back, and he's in the 41 car. Number 42, also making his return to the Cup Series after taking a few seasons off, Chandler Caudill, running for Chip Ganassi's 42 Credit One Bank Chevy. Number 43, running for Richard Childress Racing, is Donovan Duthed as he returns last season in the same ride he was, and the same team as well. He'll have new paint schemes this time around. Number 47 for JTG Daughtry will be driven by Joshua Sicully, and he makes his return to the series last season. I believe he was in a ride, um, but now he's back again with a new team. The 48 for Hedrick Motorsports will be driven by Eli Bright. I believe last season he was in the 88. Oh wait, 
that's DJ Kirker, but I think it was on 31 last season for RCR. So now Bright moves over to the 48 for Hedrick. Driving the 51 is Joseph Romanuk for Rick Rare Racing. And Romanuk is a former cup champion moving to a new ride. The 72 for TriStar Motorsports will be driven by Steve Morgan as Morgan returns as well after taking a few seasons off. The 78 Furniture Road team will be driven by Sharona Evans, a rookie this season, and she ran in the Truck Series last season, so she actually made the jump straight to the Cup Series, and now she'll be driving the 78. Another rookie will run the 88 Hedrick car, and that'll be driven by Ezekiel Hines. I hope I pronounced his name right, but he will make his Cup debut this season. Also making his cup debut this season, the 92 for Ricky Benton Racing, Josh Drake. And another rookie will take the 95 Levine family car. That'll be Dylan Kroom. In the 96, running for the Gaunt Brothers is Anthony Lopez. He returns after competing in the X Series last season. And finally in the Cup Series, the 99 of Pichu makes his return for Starcom Racing. Those are all your drivers for Season 35 of the Cup Series. Now let's take you to the Grand National Series for season for the Pokemon Go National Series, I should say, in Season 4. 28 drivers in this field. Not all cars were filled, unfortunately. So you will see less cars than what, that, what they were um, shown in the sign-ups video. I had to fill some notable cars with former champions of the X and Truck Series because um, I wanted to run those cars in the series since they had multiple paint schemes. So anyway, one of these cars is the one of Chase Marks for Ju Junior Motorsports and the two of Dexter Black for RCR. And then there's the three of Aiden Vernetti returning in the three for RCR. Then JD Motorsports for Susan Francis. Number five for Junior Motorsports, Trina Devaloop. Number six, Johnny Gardner running for the new Roush Fenway six car. Number seven, Junior Motorsports, Lauren Martinez. Number nine, Junior Motorsports, James Stabilito. Double zero for Stort Haas with Biagi, Robert Smith. Calling Racing 11, Tommy Tang. Team Penske 12, Raleigh Spurley Tube. JD Motorsports 15, Grace Takayoma. Roush Fenway Racing, Anthony DeLello, who won last season's Truck Series title. 19, Joe Gibbs Racing, Sean Kennedy. 20, Joe Gibbs, Alicia Russell. 21, RCR, DJ Kirker. 23, GMS, Jay Jefferson. GMS, 24, Isaac Gaming. JGL, 28, Glenn Duthit. Go Green Racing, 35, Ryan Durani. 39, Ryan Sieg Racing, Joey Trickle. 48, for Chip Ganassi, Daniel Voiles. Jeremy Clemens, 51, Steve Larker, 60, Roush Fenway Racing, Max Anderson, 61 for your race cars, Josh Amdev, 66 for MBM, Keon Vargas, 88 for Junior Motorsports, Rich Roy, and the 93, Richard, uh, Ryan Sieg Racing, Kenny Johnson. There will also be cup drivers running in the 18, the 22, the 42, and the 98 and their schedule for their races will be revealed at a later date. There will also be crossover races between the two lower series. So the 18 so those four cup cars will still be run in some races, but with truck series drivers and truck series drivers will get to run within the national series races and vice versa. More we'll have um the full list uh, I'll have the full list of the um schedule for those cup and crossover races on um, my Facebook page at a later date so I'll try to set it up but anyway here's the truck series roster for season four the two GMS is Chris Semdev the three for um, Jordan Anderson racing is Greg Torres the number four KBM Chase Marks number six um, betting racing Ryan Rickshaw all out motorsports seven Troy Lawson number eight Nemco Cali Mariana 13 Thor Sport Dexter Black, 15 Premium Motorsports Gustavo Rocha, 16 Hattori Racing Ryan Acosta, 
18 for um, KBM, Alicia Russell, the 20 Young's Motorsports, Jonathan Fast, 21 GMS, Jason Larker, 22 Sean Kennedy running for AM Racing, 24 GMS, Steve Green, 25 GMS, Trina Devaloop, 33 for Ryan Pritchard, um, 33, um, forgot the team, Rayume's Racing, whatever, Andrew, Angie Brown, 41 running for um, Thor Sport, Joe Jefferson, the 50 team um, running Jamie Mosley's team, Tim Randolph, 51 for KBM Arena McShane, 52 for Hallmark Friesen Racing, um, Aaron Carlson, 54 for DGR Crosley, Reginald Bloodsoe, 63 um, running United Nissan, Again, forgot the team name, uh, Donahue's team, uh, Jerry Mullins. The 75, uh, Parker Kligerman's team, Christian Russell. The 87, Nemco team, Joey Trickle. 88, um, Nem, um, Thor Sport team, Garrett Albertson. 92 for Ricky Benton, uh, Kyle Manoli. 97 for uh, J, JJR Racing, JJR Motorsports, um, Annabeth Ferris. No, JJ, JLL, JLL Motorsports 97, Annabeth Ferris, my bad. And 98, Thor Sport, Cody Smart. And there will be cup drivers in the truck series races as well. The 17, the 23, the 27, and the 46 will be run by cup drivers throughout the season in the truck series. And those trucks will also be used to uh, to have um, ec to have national series drivers run in those truck races as well. As I mentioned earlier, there will be crossover races between the lower two se seated series throughout the season. Now the all three drive all three series as drivers have been revealed, and now let's take a look at the schedule. Alrighty, guys, here is the schedule for all three series. I have them all in one list. Anyway, all three series will start at Daytona as always. The Pokemon Quest 250 for trucks, that'll be 12 laps. The Pokemon Go 300 for National is uh, 14 laps. And the Daytona 500 for a cup will be 20 laps. There will be stages in that race and um, other races out throughout in the Cup Series. Only the Cup Series will have stages. Um, I'll tell you more about them later, but... Now into our second weekend after Daytona will be Atlanta, and that's the first race that will have cup drivers be, compete in the trucks and national series races. Atlanta will be the first among the, uh, them. So we have the active 200 from Atlanta. Um, the trucks, the national run the high since 250, and the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500 and the cup series, they'll run 32 laps. No stages there, we'll just run the full race there, but more on the stages later. 14 laps here and 16 laps on the national race. And then the next race is, and the next weekend is Las Vegas, where the truck series will run in the Worlds of Westgate 200, the DC Soul 300 for the national, and the cup will run the South Point 400, 14, 20, and 26 respectively on the laps. Bristol, all three series again, the Food City 200, 300 and 500 all three races with food city on them. They'll run 22 30 and 50 laps Michigan will be the cup national and uh, truck series um, next stop after Bristol the Corrigan Roll 200 a 12 lap truck race LTI printing 250 a 14 lap national race and the consumers energy 420 laps for the cup series Then after that is Kansas the 37 kind days 250 116 the Kansas Lottery 300 will run 20, and the KC Masterpiece 400 will run 26. Then there's Dover with the JEX 200 and one main 200, each running 20 laps, and the AAA 400 Drive for Autism will run 40 laps. Then there's Charlotte, the Drive for the Cure 200, the truck race is 14, the Alsco 300 running for 20, and the Coca Cola 600 will run for 40, and we'll have four 10 lap stages in that race. Uh, for the cup only, I should say. Pocono, the next triple header. Gander Doors 150 will be 12. Pocono Green 250 is 14. And the Pocono 400 is 20. Kentucky, the Buckle Up 225 at 16 laps. The Walmart 300 at 20. And the Quaker State 400 at 26. 
And in Chicagoland will be the last um, weekend that the Cup drivers will compete in trucks and national races. The Overton's 225, 300, and 400. Over on 16, 20, and 26. And then we go to the first of eight crossover races um, for the National and Truck Series. And that will start off at the Glen. The Truck Series will run at the Glen as the Parts America 150. That's a 12 lap race. And then the National Series runs the Zippo 200 at 14 laps. And the Cup race, the Gold Bowling at the Glen, will be 20 laps. That will start off the tour of road, of road courses among all three series. Because after the Glen, the Truck Series will run at Portland for the Wheeland 225. The National Series runs at Mid-Ohio for the Rock and Roll Tequila 170. That will be 14 laps as well. And the Cup Series running in Sonoma for the NASCAR E350. 20 lap race at Sonoma Raceway there and the road course wrap up in the National Series at Road America with a Johnsonville 180 with a 12 lap race there and then the Trucks and Cup Series will both be running at Martinsville the Alpha 250 is 26 laps and the first eight of 500 is 500 laps the Trucks Series will then head to Chicago Motor Speedway the K&N 175 for 20 laps and the New Hampshire for the National and Cup Series Xfinity running, the Xfinity 200 will run 22 laps, and the Sun Energy 130 will run 30 laps. And then there's Rockingham, North Carolina, and yes, the Cup Series will return to Rockingham, North Carolina. North Wilkesboro was very popular in its return, so we're going to do it a favor and give Rockingham the same treatment as well. As well. So the Cup Series and Truck Series will run double header there. Uh, the truck race will be the Econo Lodge 200 with 20 laps. And the Pullman TCG 400 will run 40 laps. Then we have the race at Nazareth Speedway with the uh, National and Truck Series only. That will be the second crossover race between the two. It will be in Nazareth. First Union 200 for trucks and the Course State's Advantage 200 for National. They will both run 20 laps each and they will both be crossover races. Then the Cup Series at North Wilkesboro, the Tyson 400 extended to 42 laps because why not add two more laps to North Wilkesboro we got ourselves a fun weekend there and then the truck series has its annual dirt derby at Eldora Speedway with a 50 lap showdown in the dirt and then Darlington the track too tough to tame the cups and national series return there sport clips 200 runs 16 laps and the southern 532 laps don't worry we'll have retro paint schemes in that race definitely prepared for that and we're going to have retro paint schemes in North Wilkesboro as well. Because why not have two retro races in one schedule? That's going to be fun. And Auto Club Speedway, the National Series running the Connors 300 at 14 laps. And the Cup Series running the Auto Club 400 with 20 laps. And then we go to our third crossover weekend. And that will be at Homestead for the Ford EcoBoost 200, 300, and 400. It'll be 16, 20, and 26 laps at Homestead. And then, of course, we'll have our Pokemon Cup Series All-Star Race after that, and that will be in North Wilkesboro. I'll reveal the format, what we'll do with the All-Star Race when we get to that weekend. Anyway, to the Cup Series we go to World Tour 35, and that'll start off in Calder Park, Australia. In the 28 lap showdown in the Penzo L400 in Zach Fitzwater's home track. And then all three series run at Ovalo Juarez for the very first time. The Truck Series will run 16 in the Tessel Motorola 200 and the Corona Metzco 222 for the National. And then their Peak 400, uh, 32 lap showdown, and the Cup Series. That was going to be a fun weekend in Mexico for the World Tour. And then the National Series returns to Montreal at Circuit Jill Velenev for the Nap Auto Parts 200 at 14 laps. I put 250 there by mistake, but it is going to be called 200. Let me just get that right. Anyway, and then the Truck Series will run the Canadian Tire 250 at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park for 12 laps. And the Cup Series will run also at that same track in the Pentes 400 for 20 laps. That is also a crossover weekend. The National Series, the Truck Series drivers will actually, four Truck Series drivers will actually be running in the Montreal race in the National Series, and four National Series drivers will run in the Canadian Tire Truck Race in, Mon in um, Ontario, Canada. 
they'll all be in Canada at the same time. Then there's the National Series and Truck Series. It'll have its weekend in Denver. Now, Denver is a new track that Action Pack Tracks is making. They've made some tracks that are actually on the schedule, and they've done a really good job on it. They're making Denver, so if it's made in time, we'll run a Denver for the Trucks and National Series. If not, then the National Series will run an Eldora in its own weekend since we have less than 30 full-time drivers on the field. Wait, it is a crossover race, so almost forgot about that. But um, we'll see what we can do. Not Eldora, but another track. So National and Truck Series, they'll run another track if they can't get Denver ready in time. Anyway, and then the Cup Series will run at Biker Necky in Latvia to continue their world tour. Then the National and Truck Series will both run their um, another crossover weekend at Gateway in the Eaton 200 for 16 laps and the Northern Tool 250 for 20. Then the Cup Series resumes World Tour 35 at Rockingham, UK. The very And it will be the last race at Rockingham, UK. Next season, we'll go to another track in the United Kingdom. I'm thinking about going to either Brands Hatch or Silverstone. But Rock Game UK, this will be the last year that it's on the schedule. And there will be the Monster Energy 500. And then finally, the regular season finale for the Cup Series. That will be in Twin Ring Montegi for the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate 500. That's a 34 lap showdown to determine our regular season champion. Then round one of the Cup Series playoffs begin at Indianapolis. And the National Series will run a race there as well. The Lily 250 for 16 and the Brickyard 400 for 24. And then the Pokemon Quest, the Pokemon Quest um, tr Truck Series would, will be at Walt Disney World Speedway and the M&M's 200 for 30 laps. The National Series continues with Richmond and the Gold Bowling 250 for 26 laps. And the Cup Series will continue, will have its second race of round one of the Federated 400 um, at 40 laps. And then the last crossover weekend is in Gravis City Zone 11 in the Cups, in the Cup, Truck, and National. And it'll be the regular season finale for the National and Truck Series at Gravis City Zone 11. Eevee 250 is 20, Pikachu 300 is 22, and Pikachu and Eevee 500 is 30 for the Cup. And the Cup will wrap up round one there. And then the round two of the Cup Series playoffs and round three, no wait, round two of the Cup Series playoffs and round one of the um x and tr of the truck and national series playoffs all three series head to texas for the ppg 400 the o'reilly 300 triple a texas 500 at 16 20 and 32 laps and then we go to ism raceway the lucas oil 150 20 laps the pokeball plus 224 laps and the ism 532 laps and then the first round of the playoffs wrap up at iowa speedway for the national truck series They'll run the KC's 200 and the Enogen 2250, uh, 20 and 26 last respectively. And round two for the Cup Series wraps up in Sawmill for the Lumberjack 325. It'll be 20 laps, but we'll have two 10 lap stages. And then round two of the playoffs for the for the National and Truck Series. And round three of the Cup Series playoffs will all be in Super Speedways. And from here on out, the entire the rest of the races will be run at Super Speedways, in fact. All three series will run at Talladega, the Truck Series, National and Cup Series, the Detective Pikachu Weekend. 12 laps, 14 laps, and 20 laps with three stages for Cup only. And then they go to Pensacola for Trucks and National Series. The next are 250 for Trucks at 14 laps, and the cute Power Shares QQQ 300 at 16 laps for the National Cup Series will run in Orlando at the Tiburon 500 with three stages, and it'll be cumulated to 20 laps of racing. And then the penultimate races in the season, the Trucks and National Series will run at Armory Digital, the Coca-Cola 250 for 12 laps, and the Coke Zero Sugar 300 for 16 laps. And the Cup Series' penultimate race will be at Coca-Cola Super Speedway, the Super Snack 500. And again, that'll be three stages. And it all wraps up all three series, as always, wrap up with a championship four decided at Zen Joltis. 12 laps for the trucks, 16 for the national, and 22 for the cup. And it's going to be no stages, just all-out racing in all three series. 
and Zenjol just to determine our champion. So that's our entire schedule for all three series. Now let's explain a couple things before we end this very long video. Uh, excuse me, I'm just gonna have to. I'm just trying to catch my breath here because uh, I just explained a lot, and it's been over like a probably a little over a half hour now uh, of me talking straight. So I'm gonna try the best I can here to try to wrap this up quickly. But anyway, first off, there will be no, uh, there will not be a no spoiler rule anymore. I've gotten rid of the no spoilers rule because it was causing problems. It was causing a lot of controversy for no apparent reason. Some people loved it, some others hated it. It was really divided and it just didn't work out. It just really wasn't working and it was causing a lot of problems. So the no spoiler rule will not be in effect in all three series. So you can say you won that certain race if you won that race and not get penalized for it. I've decided to let that slide in all three series. But I advise everyone to watch the race first before scrolling down in the comments below or before commenting on the video just so you won't get spoiled of the race. So and so don't blame me if you um if the race spoiled, if your race was spoiled for you, um, I'm gonna warn everybody to watch the race first before going down in the comments below or even putting down a comment below that race. Because there will not be a no spoilers rule in effect for all three series anymore. So I'm just giving you guys all a heads up on that. But anyway, in the playoffs for all three series, there is no limit to how many drivers we can have in the playoffs in all three series. If you win, you're in. Simple as that. So if you win a race, you're in the playoffs, no matter what. But there's always going to be an even number of drivers in the playoffs, so if we have an odd number, then the driver with the high the driver with the highest number of points without a win in the series will get an automatic spot into the playoffs. If not if it's the regular season champion, the regular season champion always gets in in all three series, even if he or she does not have a win this season. So we want to keep that as competitive as possible and to keep it fair. So the playoffs, there's no limit to how many drivers, um, playoff drivers, I should say, in all three series. Yeah, the, we've done it last year. It was really good. And we're going to do it again this year. Anyway, the stages are only going to be applied for the Cup Series. I mentioned earlier that some races are going to have stages, stage breaks. Um, all super speedways except Zanjoltis will have stage breaks because I thought it would be more fun that way instead of going the long 20 laps, having pit stops really jump separate the field and not really having a good finish. I want to give, um, I want to try to have a great finish at super speedways, so we're splitting them up into stages hoping that the racing gets a lot better and there's more strategy involved instead of just like pitting and stuff and not having a fun finish at the end. So I'm hoping that that will that it will be better the racing will be better among the cup series if we have stages in the super speedway races. All super speedway races are going to have this except for Zanjoltis. Uh, I know Michigan Auto Club could be classified as super speedways, but they don't run restrictor plates. And um, they still have speeds over 200 miles an hour, but they don't have restrictor plates, so I'm not going to have stages in those races. Only the ones with restrictor plates needed are going to have um, stage racing. Zanjoltis won't have it, even though those speeds are go like to over 250 miles per hour. But I just wanted to be a straight, um, a straight race to decide the champion. A flat race, a flat one. No stages, no gimmicks, and all that stuff. I wanted to have that Zenjoltis to determine our champion, and I thought it'd be more fun that way. So, no stages at Zenjoltis, but the Super Speedway races are going to have stages, except for some races. Um, as you can see, the Pokemon Cup race at the Lumberjack 325 at Somo that's going to have two 10-lap stages. Um, the reason for that is because last season's race at Sawmill, I did not get to finish it. Um, it, it on, uh, when the caution came out with just a few laps to go, the pace car simply just didn't get onto the track and the cars just stayed under caution speed forever. So I had to call the race, get the results from there since they were a little over halfway and I wasn't able to finish the race. So having stages in the sawmill race, um, hopefully the pace car glitch is not going to happen 
that would lessen the pace car glitch from happening of uh, having the pace car not come out under the track after a caution I'm hoping I'm hoping that splitting the race into two stages that problem would not happen so and if we do get a caution we will have overtime um, the Cup Series only the Cup Series races will have overtime if needed two lap overtime this is just to speed things up a little bit quicker so the trucks and ex the trucks and national series races will end under caution if there is a caution that comes out near the end of the race only the cup series will have two lap overtime races if needed this is again to make things a little quicker um one other race with stages um the coca-cola 600 I want to do it 40. Um, Charles has always been a wreck fest, so I'm going to try the best I can to split it and um, hopefully make things a lot more interesting. We're going to have four 10 lap stages in the Coca Cola 600. So, even though the rest of the races without stage breaks um, don't have, even though the rest of the races, well, the rest of the races without stage breaks are going to be set up in stage points. I'm going to bring stage points back. Um, the stages will be. Um, determine the late well of course they'll be split um the half of a half like are those the first two stages and the rest of the second all of the second half will be stage three just say all of the second half in each race every race is all of stage three so stages one and two um the winner of each stage is going to get a playoff point if they make the playoffs and the top 10 get points from 10 to 1 i'm bringing that back only for the cup series um, and of course the final stage everyone is awarded points normally um, for a finishing position and I believe points for a lap led um, or bonus point any bonus points applied that will be added to as well so hope you guys enjoy hope you guys are, are well informed about this all three series if there's any other thing I want to say let me just think about it right now uh, no there's nothing else to say again I will have the schedule of cup drivers in the um, National Truck Series races in a later date, who's driving where, um, and the crossover races as well. I'll have that up on Facebook later. I'll have to set things up a little bit more, and I hope to have the new races up by um, somewhere on my birthday because my birthday is actually on Friday, so I hope to have races up on my birthday. But I have to set things up first. I have to set a couple things up before I can start on the series. So I'm hoping that I can have a race for you guys. I'm hoping I can start the series off on my birthday weekend. Just hoping. But anyway, um, this is Pichu London. I'll see you guys later.